Okay, so I wanted to make a video about um, binomial distributions and how to use GeoGebra on it. So here we go. So basically I need to pull this up. This is a binomial distribution. We got 17% of all Americans live in poverty. If 30, per, if 30 Americans are randomly selected, find the probability that exactly six of them live in poverty. At most, six of them live in poverty. At least four of them live in poverty between one and eight of them, including one and eight live in poverty. So this here's an example of uh, something similar you might see on your homework in uh, my open math. So, um, so I'm going to essentially answer four different questions here, though typically in real world we only have one question, but these are all the possibilities of what we can get uh, to answer in these questions. So let's talk about them as we go. All right. So first of all, I need to bring uh, GeoGebra up and I will have links for you for this uh, calculator, but I want to show you where you can find it just in case. I forget or something else happens, you know, so let's go to geogebra.org, right? Type that in. Then you go down to the bottom and you click on GeoGebra Classic again. So this is where we got our spreadsheet from before. Same area we could get our spreadsheet is over here with this triangle circle uh, menu button. We can click on that. Then the three, three dot button will bring us to a place where we get the spreadsheet possibility, but we don't want the spreadsheet this time. We want the probability calculator, and this is where we're gonna be working for a little bit now. So here we go, probability calculator, and first thing that comes up is essentially what's called a normal distribution. Um, and we'll be working with this next, after binomial. So, uh, but I don't want normal distribution, I want binomial. So coming down to that pull down menu, we look and we find these are uh, a lot of what we will be working with. We'll be working with F distributions in a different way. Chi-squared distribution, the student T distribution. Um, and uh, that's about it. But we could get into Pascal and some other of these as well in this class. But we're trying to keep down your work. So, um, all right. So we're going to select what do we want? Binomial. This is a binomial distribution. We can test out all the possibilities of why this is a binomial distribution, but it is. Um, that was the previous part of this. So, and now we have um, all this information. We got a histogram. We got a probability distribution of the frequencies labeled out, the relative frequencies labeled out here of these certain outcomes. Um, so one through 20, 20, where did the 20 come from? Oh yeah, the first thing I need to do once I pull this up is I need to enter my information. I need to enter the, um, the sample size, which is 30 Americans are chosen. We need that fixed number of trials. That's my number of trials. There we go, 30. And then I need the probability of success. So I'm throwing up air quotes. I know you can't see me. But I'm throwing up air quotes, probability of success. Is it really success uh, um, to randomly choose somebody and have them be living in poverty? Um, not totally, but that is, right, air quotes, success. That is the outcome we want, is the desired outcome is, is this. It's still not desired. That's not a proper term. Anyways, you get my point, though, right? It is not a desirable outcome uh, necessarily, but it is, it is what we are particularly looking at on, on the, the is for information we're trying to figure out. All right, so I enter my probability of success, which is 17% or 0 0.17 in there, and then I need to decide what the question is. So at this point, I need to say, okay, well, what is my question? So we're gonna go over to uh, the first part, A, which is exactly six of them. I want exactly six of them to be in there. So let's see. So. Uh -huh. It's kind of like, what do I do? Um, so maybe if I just select six, six and six. Oh yeah, that got me the column. Or if I um, so do this. So this is always kind of preset on the um, in between category. So this is the interval, right? This is the less than symbol, the left side, or the right side, uh, or the right. Um, yeah, to the right. So okay. So if you just put in in between and you put in six and six. Um, there's also ways to come over here and just select things as you go kind of thing. So you can even like, if they are lumped together, you can select them for in between. So, uh, but if you skip a little bit further away, it can't do multiple ones, but I could add up maybe different probabilities. It's a nice way to show it. And it shows it over on this histogram as well, which is really cool. 
So, okay, there's um, that portion. Um, so what do I want? I want six and six. I forgot what I was doing. I'm answering a question. Andre, come on. There we go, six and six. This is the probability right here of getting the outcome of exactly six. And a better way to write this than what GeoGebra has is the probability that a random variable x equals six. So I'm writing it over here in my Word document. So this probability is equal to zero point, I'm sorry, is there, yeah, zero point uh, one six three eight or 16 point, which is equal to, let me write it in percentage form, 0.1638%. Well, 0.164 approximately. I'm sorry, 16.4% is how I should say that. <clears throat> and that has gotten from this number right here that we get just by, or we can look it over here if we're using the exactly thing. So this is my answer, right, that I have here. All right, and I will make those different colors. Um, well, so maybe not. Next one. So at most six of them live in poverty. At most six of them live in poverty. That would be at most. What does that mean at most? So if it's at most, then um, five would count, four would count, three would count. If I had them, three of them living in poverty, uh, but seven would not. Um, six would though. So it would include six, but not seven. So here's our right discrete data or discrete quantitative data that jumps so um, we're choosing everything six and below here so what does that mean maybe i can just choose this left side feature from six and below and it gives it to me or we can just like i said come over here and try and choose the ones i want making sure i choose everything below the other thing we can do is we can move these so i'm trying to show you all the options because this is really too easy and really too fun to do so there is my probability the probability of getting this um probability of x uh being less than or equal to is what we're talking about i hope that's okay i'm writing it like this so hopefully you understand what i mean is equal to the probability is equal to zero point 761 according to GeoGebra um, and that is a percentage as well that is 76.1 percent so that probability all right so let's get to the next one you see what's happening though very easy at least four of them live in poverty so that would include four right but not three because three live in poverty only of the 30 we're talking about out of 30 total always out of 30 with these binomial experiments so at least four of them meaning four and above four we could get four of them living in poverty we could get five six seven eight all these probabilities added together essentially is what we're looking at so we're looking at this right handed right side um thing and we got six we want six here and i messed up so i pulled it a little far but you can change it here as well so right we are looking at the probability that um oops I'm, i chose six over here but i really wanted four didn't i said it but i forgot to include it so but it's okay i just come back and change it so as long as i notice right so we're looking at the probability of x being uh um greater than or equal to four I like writing it this way rather than what GeoGebra has presented there in the bottom. Right, GeoGebra is pointing out what the what these symbols should look like, and that's fine the way they wrote that. But um, I like it written so I can read it better because X being greater than or equal to makes more sense than 4 being less than or equal to. So what is this probability? It's 0. 0.77748, this probability. I have 77.77. .77 Point five basically percent as the probability of living in uh, poverty of, uh, of at least four people living in poverty Americans all right last one in between all oh, we already saw it that was this selection selection we want to be in between one and eight notice the inclusion down here 
the equals to in terms of in terms of uh, GeoGebra, there's the equals to um, included. If I didn't want to include them, which I do here because the problem says include them. If I didn't want to include them, then I might have to just make sure I'm selecting the right amount, right? Or coming over and making sure I deselect the ones I don't want included. So if I wasn't trying to include eight, I would just go from one to seven or something like that. That's what I'm saying, but I am trying to include eight. So there is my probability of uh, it being between one and eight. A um, little bit harder to write this, um, but I could use equation editor, but I'm a little lazy today. So here we go. So um, less than or equal to X is less than or equal to um, eight. And that is my probability of getting this, which is 0 0.9399. Um, or or, um, sorry, messed up a little bit, or 93, 93.99, basically 94% is what we're looking for. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.